Hi friends, today's lesson is characteristics of developing economics with special reference to India. This is question second year intermediate meaning of economic reforms. The terms economic reforms broadly indicates necessary structural adjustments to external events. It includes the function of countries spending to the level parallel to its income and thereby reducing physical deficits. This requires gradual reductions in impact and increase in export. These adjustments also require market change in order to make economy fixable need of economic reforms need of economic reform is increase in physical deficity increase in advice balance of payment advice balance of payment and golf crisis fall in foreign exchange reserve fall in foreign exchange reserve next one rise in prices rise in prices next one is poor performance of public sector poor performance of public sector physical deficiency increase in advice the balance of payment golf crest the fall in foreign exchange res reserve rise of Price poor performance performance of public sector. Now going to lesson and question characteristics of developing economics with special reference to in India. Going to the question is totally characteristics of developing economic with special reference to India is the major characteristics of developing economics in general and the Indian economy in particular are as follows is first one low level of income predominance of agriculture capital deficiency fourth one technological backwardness inhabitant infra infrastructure facility high rate of growth of population next one high rate the liter literacy rate high infant morality rate traditional born attitudes towards work and life jain family system those are is characteristics of developing economic with special reference to india so first one is low level of income low level of income now going to sub point low level of income this is the per capita nnp net national product in in india in 1995 1996 was about rs 9300 and in 2012 uh, to 3 2013 it is 22,100 it is one of the lowest in the worst world among the 133 countries of the world India's rank is 110 it means that there are 109 countries of the world which have higher per capita income than India low level of income indicates low standard of living i.e. low level of conceptions whatever progress has been made in terms of the increase in the production since independence the same is not reflected in the increase in per capita income because of rapidly growth of population along with the growth of the production 
the population has also increased rapidly this is means that a large production of population have income level much low below in the average for instance in india about one third of the population is living below the poverty line i e they are not able to afford even the minimum nutrition required due due to the low level of living the efficiency of labor is also low second one is pre premeditiveness of agriculture premeditiveness of agriculture is about two third of india's work force is a engaged in the agriculture the contribution of agriculture to national income is about 19 percent as against this the contributions of agriculture to the national income in most of the developed countries is between 2 to 4 percent and the working force engaged in agriculture is between 2% to 9% rainfall is the main sources of the irrigations the technology used in agriculture is traditional in natural and modernizations is slowly taking places all thought in some area modern techniques of the cultivation are in application still the vast agricultural area used primitive technique of the cultivation a vast area of agriculture land is still not covered by irrigational facilities next one is capital deficiency capital deficiency is the low level of economic result low level of economic result low level of savings which results in low level of capital formations for want of capital other resources like labor and natural resources remain utilized india as a large potential of for re- renewable as well as non renewable resources the country is not able to utilize them fully for want of capital again to the level level the low level of income result in low level of saving which result in low level of capital formation for want of capital other resources like labor and natural resources remain utilized india as a large potential for re- renewable as well non renewable resources the country is not able to utilize them fully for want of capital fully of want to want of capital next one technological backward technological backwards in large parts of almost all sectors all the indian economy technology used in productions is backward the expenditure incurred on research and development is low advised technology is in use in a few industries only again to repeat in large parts of almost all sectors of the indian economy technology used in productions is backward the expenditure incurred on research and development is low the advised technology is in use in a few industries only few industries only next one is fifth one is in adequate infrastructural facility in adequate infrastructural facilities infrastructural facilities currently include power transport power transport and communication include power transports and communication these facilities are essential for industrial 
development of the country industrial development of the con country they also affect the development of agriculture and services sector all these facilities are in inadequate again to repeat in infrastructural facilities currently include power transport power transport and communication this facilities are essential for industrial development of the country they also affect the development of agriculture and services sector all these facilities are indicated indicated next one is next one they, they also affect the development of the agriculture and services sector all these facilities are indicated next one is high rate of growth of population high rate of growth of population india's population is very large indians population is very large 121 crores as per 2011 census and it is rising at the rate of 1.84 per annum since 1971 when the development process was switched the birth rate had declined very slowly birth rate declined very slowly while the death rate declined faster a high growth rate of population puts additional pressure on the resources in such a situation the increases in per capita income will be much less than the increase in total productions national income national income the current rate of growth of populations of the indian economy is it higher level when compared with the negative rates or zero rates experienced by european and other de development countries next one is high rate of illiteracy high rate of illiteracy is the literacy rate is cute high cute high all thought it has declined substantially since 1951 it is, it is still very high it is still very high illiteracy rate in female is much higher much higher then in male it is also one of the characteristics of the developing countries characteristics of the developing countries next one is higher infant morality rates high infant morality rate again to this one the high rate of illiteracy illiteracy rate is cute high all that it has declined substantially since 1951 it is still very high illiteracy rate in females is much higher than in male it is also one of the characteristics of the developing countries do developing countries again to the currently rate of the growth of populations of the indian economy is at the higher level which compared with the negative rates or zero rates experienced by european and other developed countries next one is high infant morality rates the number of the deaths of infants of the less than one year of age per thousands leave births in indian is very high this shows the indicates medical facilities low level of the nutrition and pure poor sanitary countries pure sanitary countries this one again to the high rate of the illiteracy the illiteracy rate is cute high all thought it has declined the substance substantially since 1951 it is still very high illiteracy 
rate in females is much higher than in male it is also one of the characteristics of the developing countries next one is high infant mortality rate again to this one is the number of the deaths of the infants of less than one year of age per thousands live thousands live birth thousand lives birth in indian is very high this shows the indicates the medical facilities the low level of the nutrition sign pure sanitary condition pure sanitary conditions next one traditional bonds attitude towards work and down work and life sorry life work and life the indian society is divided into the many castes many castes and sub castes resulting in the frictions frictions in the society frictions in the society the relig religious and social beliefs religious and social beliefs and customs to create in extends inhabited inhabit the development of so scientific attitudes again to the indian society is divided into the many castes many castes and sub castes resulting in the frictions in the society the religious and social beliefs religious and social beliefs and customs to create in extends inhabit the development of social sorry society so scientific attitude scientific attitudes next one is is 10th one jain family system next one is jain family system jain family system abstracts mobility of labor what is the jain family system they abstract abstract mobility of labor mobility of labor the families preform to live together even if the so if this many may may be in having a low level of living jain family system abstracts mobility of labor families preform to live together even if this may be may means having a low level of living the nutri nuclear family system is taking its roots slowly in spirit of structural constructions constructions the indian economy the expenditure is are experiencing a socio economic changing pu uh, per capita income as the increased thought not at the very fast rates the infrastructural development has also taken place in fact there has been development in all thought sorry almost all sector however the rate of the development had been relative relative slower because of the high rates of the growth of the population currently indian is a categorized categorized as a developing economy the process of the development is slowly picking up in the post globalization phase globalization phases globalization phases again to jain family system jain family system is jain family system abstracts mobility of labor mobility of labor F families the preform to live together even if this may means having a low level low le level of living low level of living then nuclear the nuclear family system is taking it is roots slowly in spite of structural constructions 
constructs the indians economic is the experiencing experiencing the socio economic change the per capita income has increased the thought not at the so at a very fast rate the infrastructural development has also taken place in in fact there has been development in almost all sections however the rate of development had been relatively slow slower because of the higher rate of the growth of the population the currently indian is categorized as a developing economy the process of development as slowly the picking up in the post globalization phase globalization place please subscribe me please like to me my channel